This week we're going to program Hangman because this is my favorite way to program arrays. You'll notice that in Canvas I have given you the start code that you can copy and paste before we begin because I really want you to focus on creating the actual Hangman code. So when you first start, when you copy and paste the code, this is what you're going to have. And when you hit play, you're going to get a 600 by 600 screen that will accept letters from the keyboard and display them on screen. I have it so it can only accept one letter because with the hangman you're only supposed to guess one letter and then hit enter. Then we'll do something with that code as we get started. So I'd like you to walk, to walk you through the code that you have hopefully copied and pasted and you'll see that I've got some notes in here for you to add things. So the first thing is we're declaring a font that's easy to read on screen. You are going to, in our next step, declare an array of words. Then we're going to have a variable to, dis to store the display thing string. We'll have two lines of text on screen at any time, and that will be display one and display two. The contents may change. You'll notice that when I play this the first time, it says please type the letter you wish to guess. If I type in two letters, it says please type only one letter. Our variable that we're going to store the text that we're actually typing in from the keyboard is typing, and our variable to save this text to when the return is hit is called guess. And we're going to use this to check against our text to see if it's a letter that's in the word. Then we are having our we have our setup routine where we've just declared our size and our font. I'm using an easy to use large font on the screen. I've set a background color of light gray. You can change that if you wish. Indent is 25. That's giving me 25 spaces between the edge of the screen and any text. And then we're going to have our, we're going to set our font. We're going to set our fill. And then we're going to display our text, display, and display two. And then we're going to accept typing from the keyboard. And it's typed a little below. So you can see that's going in at the um, indent and at the 490 for the Y. So it's skipping a blank line. Initially, we have an if routine to check to see if the guess length is less than one. Display, please type, I'm sorry, just if the length of guess that's um, our array uh, that's whatever letters we're typing is greater than one. It says please type only one letter. And then it will reset it to just a null space, which is just quote, quote, with nothing in between it. That's how you reset a string. If they press a key and the key is returned, it will save the string and reset it. Otherwise, it's just expanding to the string variable. We're going to change all that, but that's just a place to start so that you can accept input from the screen. Get this working and copied over, and then you can go ahead and move to the next step where we will start working on Hangman.